welcome to coordinates and lines um, just before we get going just a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video just check the description below for a download link you can get the worksheet and you can work along with me as we go through the video okay so we're going to start with the question to plot the following coordinates on the set of axes label each point with a letter a to j now um, the first thing we need to think about is what does a set of axes actually mean well a set of axes is what we've got here on the right hand side we have an x axis and a y axis x are the values going from left to right and y are the values going up and down now right in the very center here we have a value which on my graph doesn't actually have a number but that is zero it's what is known as the origin um, of the graph it's where everything begins and so all of our counting needs to begin from this point right in the center zero zero now coordinates you'll notice here they all have the same appearance they are a set of brackets a number and a pair of numbers and a comma in between now the really important thing is what those values actually mean well the first value is an x coordinate the second is a y coordinate and what that is meaning is the first number tells us how to move in the x direction left and right and the second value tells me how to move in the y direction up or down and so our first one is 2 7 which means we start at 0 0 we move 2 to the right and I'm moving right because it's a positive number and I'm going to go 7 up because that is also a positive number so 2 to the right and 7 up I will place a point now we should if we're plotting coordinates generally we use a little cross to show that and I'm going to label that one a to show that that is point a I'll do the same for 8 1 starting at 0 0 along 8 up 1 draw a little cross and that is point B if I keep going if I look at C starting at 0 0 it now says negative 3 so that is negative 3 in the x direction but it's positive 9 in the y direction and so we plot our point there and that is point C negative 7 2 means negative 7 in the x direction plus 2 in the y direction there's point D and if we move on E says 8 negative 1 so again we're back to um, the positive direction for the x so 8 to the right and then negative 1 so that means 1 down there is point E F is 2 negative 7 so that is 2 in the positive x and it's 7 in the negative y and there we go there's point F and then for G we have negative 4 negative 4 it means that we need to move 4 to the left and 4 down there is point G negative 6 negative 7 is next so negative 6 on the X direction negative 7 in the Y direction there is H and then finally we come to I and J and in these cases we have 0 8 now what that means is in terms of the x direction we move zero spaces and zero means stay the same so we're going to stay right in the center here but we're going to move up eight spaces so zero eight will be right there on the y-axis at point i and j is three zero well that means we're first going to move three places to the right but then we're not going to move up or down we'll remain on the x-axis and that is point J okay so our next task is to name each of the coordinates shown on the set of axes and we're going to group them together by those that have the same symbol now to name a coordinate means to write the coordinate as a pair of values with a, uh, and a comma in between and a pair of brackets and I'm going to start with these ones which are all star shapes let's start with the one at the top if I want to name it I need to do exactly the same as I did for drawing I need to start at zero and see how far have I moved to reach this point 
we'll have gone one, two, three, four, five spaces to the right. So that is my x coordinate. And one, two, three, four, five, six up. And so my first coordinate is five, six. If I keep going with those values on uh, the ones with the stars, well, I've gone along five and up one. So I've got five, one. And then next, starting at zero, along five, down three. So that one is five, negative three. And the last one, along five, and it goes down eight. So five, negative eight. And if we have a look at that, there is something that you may notice about each of those, uh, each of those coordinates. This value here is always five. And there's something else you might notice about the points themselves. If I have a look at the points which we've just uh, we've just been looking at. Those are the points that all make a straight line. And those points all go through the same straight line and that line goes through the x-axis at five. And the reason for that, well, my x-coordinate every single time, the x-coordinate is always five and that's actually the name of this line let's see about the uh, points which are all flowers so in this case if we are looking at each of the flowers let's start all the way over here if I start at zero zero I need to go nine to the left and then I need to go six down and so I have negative nine six Sorry, negative nine, negative six. If I go along to the next point, well, that needs to go six to the left and six down. So that means I have negative six and negative six. If I move to this point here, it means I need to go two to the right and six down. So that is two, negative six. And the last one, if I need to get to this point, I'll need to go eight to the right and six down. So that one is eight, negative six. Now again, if we have a look at our different values, what do these all have in common? Well, this second coordinate, the Y coordinate, is always negative six. And if we have a look at the points that we've just been dealing with, well, they are all on a straight line. And that straight line crosses the y-axis at negative six. And so this line could be called y equals negative six. If we look at the uh, smiley faces, we can do exactly the same process. Name each of the coordinates and see what they have in common. So each of them along negative four, and up nine. So negative four, nine is the first one. Then we have negative four, three. Then we have negative four, negative four. And finally, we have negative four, negative 10. And so what do they all have in common? Well, this first value here is always negative four. That is the x coordinate. And so we can say that x equals negative four. They're always the same value. And if we just quickly check, well, they are a straight line going through the x axis at negative four. Finally, the ones with the little target shapes, let's just take the uh, coordinates for each of those. So to start with, I'm going negative eight, four, And then I'm going negative two, four. Then three, four. 
and finally 10 4. What do all of the coordinates have in common? Right here, the y coordinate is always a 4, so we could call that y equals 4. Let's have a look at the line. Well, if I draw a line going through all the points we've just marked, it goes through the value 4 on the y axis. Now, this is how we name straight lines, either horizontal lines or vertical lines. It's all about which of the axes does it cross and um, what value. Okay, so um, let's have a look at actually drawing some straight lines. If we uh, have a bit of information about them, can we draw this straight line for them? The first two I'm going to do by just actually creating some coordinates. Um, so it says in the first one, draw the graph of x equals 8. So what that means is if I am dealing with my coordinates, it means the x value, the first coordinate, is going to have to be 8 every time. And so all I can do now is just choose any values I like for y. So I could go with minus 3, I could go with 2, I could go with 10. And so it in this case, x is always 8, which is what it tells us it should be. And so we can plot each of those values. 8, negative 3. 8, 2. 8, 10. There they are. Now, if I join those points together, I find that they are a perfect straight line. And it goes through the x-axis at 8. There's the link. x, 8. Let's try it again for y equals negative 4, just to see if it also works out. So again, I'll pick myself any three coordinates, but this time the y value must be negative 4. So the second part of my coordinate this time must be negative 4. And again, just choose any values I like for my x coordinates. So I might go with 6, 1, negative 2. So 6, negative 4, there it is. 1, negative 4, there it is. Negative 2, negative 4, there it is. Let's join them together. Now this is a straight line once again. Draw it through. And we should notice once again, here it goes through the y-axis at negative 4, because y equals negative 4. So the final two questions, let's just try and use that method. Let's uh, see if we can do it without plotting any points. Can we just look at the equation we've been given and draw its straight line? So in this case, x equals negative 6. So we want to be dealing with our x-axis. And it's negative 6. So we need to be looking at this point, the negative 6 on the x-axis. Now, all we need to do is we need to draw ourselves a line which is going to go through this point, And that means it's going to go downwards. And that is the line x equals negative 6. Finally, y equals 5. If I'm dealing with y equals 5, I need to be thinking about the y-axis. And I need to be thinking about the value of 5. There it is. That line must go through that point. And so there is my line x, uh, sorry, y equals 5 because it crosses the y axis at 5. Okay, so finally we come to our exam question. And this was from the Edexcel paper in November 2017. It was foundation paper 1. Um, so no calculators available here, but I don't think we're going to need it. Um, first of all, we're asked to write down the coordinates of point A. Well, point A is right here. And if we're going to name a coordinate, then we need to just look at starting at 0, 0, right here, and counting how far we've had to move. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the right, and then 2 down. So we've got a coordinate of 6, negative 2. 
In the second part of the question, we're asked to plot a coordinate and label it point B. So we've been asked to plot the coordinate 2, 9. And so again, we want to start here, add 0, and 2, 9 tells us we're going to move 2 to the right and 9 up. We'll mark it with a little cross, but then label this point B. So we'll just write the letter B next to it. And then finally, on the grid, draw the line with the equation x equals negative 2. So this comes from what we've just been uh, looking at in the previous one. It's x and it's negative 2. So that means we need to be dealing with the x-axis. And we need to be dealing with the value of negative 2. And so our line is going to go through that point. There is the line x equals negative 2.